Hello everybody, my name is Aaron. Today we're going to fix this. We're stuck in a 2012 R2 boot loop. The server boots up like this and keeps rebooting like this. So I'm going to trip the power plug right now, kill it in the boot loop, see if that helps. Okay, so a cold shutdown didn't work. I was hoping maybe it would erase some cache files or something. So we got to boot into recovery. So I'm going to reset it right now. We're going to desperately hit F8. So you want to spam F8 after reboot. It'll get you this menu. You want to hit repair computer. Load some stuff. It's going to load the Windows repair utility. You go to troubleshoot. Command prompt. I'm going to log in with administrator. Please enter the password. And here's how you fix it. Let's go down the line. First thing I did is put in disk part, right apart up on my volumes. This is data, data, that system reserved on the C drive. So our C drive is F. I did a DIRF to see the directories, and yes, Windows is here. So I did it. Uh, we went into, di then we exited disk part after we saw all the labels, hit exit. But then we put in this command here. Now I spelled it wrong, so we did it again down here. F, which is my C drive, which we just determined up top, and I did a DIR check on. Windows side by side pending.xml. This right here is the directory of the update script. XML is the update script. So we did a move command to move that to this new location, which is pending.old. So we want it to be a file that Windows can't find so that it doesn't get in this boot loop. This XML right here is our problem. So after I hit enter it said one file moved and we're ready to go. We're going to hit reboot and see what it does. Yes, and we're good. We are 100% alive. Bam. I got a server here that is booting incredibly slow. Had a Windows update failure, which is the first clue as to what's wrong. Um, I've clicked on things and it just takes forever. I just hit the start menu and we're still waiting for it. There it is. Uh, this is most definitely a hard drive issue. That's the hard drive light and it's on eternally. So, thing to do in this case is image hard drives over to SSDs or new hard drives because it's most definitely a hard drive problem. If you need help with that, check out the channel. I have an imaging uh, tutorial that you can use. So that's where we're at with it. Oh, it's loaded it to RAM finally. Yeah, it's definitely a hard drive problem. Slow computer, slow hard drive. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see more, hit up the channel. See you guys next time. Ciao. Those command line things are going to be in the description too. So have a good one.